yesterday you were mentioning that there is death to everything, even the desire. Uh, they are after some time it dies. The, the attraction to that dies. Uh, when the ego wants something, it wants to give that thing value as if it's never going to finish. Mm -hmm. But you also have taught us that if you have something that Allah has given you, give it value. Don't just uh, not take care of it. If I'm giving value to something, how do I understand that this value is because it's my ego that is making me give value to it or because it's... No, look, there's a difference between giving value to it and worshipping it. Giving value is different, meaning you take care of it. For Allah's sake, you take care of it. You don't trash it. You share it. You don't get attached to it. Allah has given you. Giving value also means you don't get too attached to it. Whether it's a car, a son, money, position, anything good in this world. Yes? You give value to it. Allah has given to you, you have to take care of it. You can't just say, eh, it's just another car. I can get another one tomorrow. You don't do that. You don't waste. It's haram. That is giving value. But to be in love with it is something else. Giving value, you take care of it, knowing that you're responsible and you'll be asked. You cannot love too much, you cannot love too little. But when your ego wants something, it makes that thing that it wants to be the reason of your happiness, the reason of your creation, the reason of your life and your existence. If you don't have that, it's hell. Yes? And it is in opposition to what Allah and His Prophet wants. Because even if you want Allah and His Prophet and the Evliya Allah and is the reason of your creation, is the reason of your existence and you're so in love with that, if you don't get that or it is hard for you to get that, you don't get tricked by it. You still pursue it and it gives you satisfaction. This one does not because it makes itself to worship what it wants. Okay. You have a car, you like the car so much. You say, Alhamdulillah. You say, okay, I shouldn't like it so much, but I have to take care of it. I have to make this to be of service for Islam, for Haq. I try to share it, this, this, but I still like it so much. It's okay, but it will die. Maybe some mouse come and bite the, what? The wires. So nice car, you're like, oh, this is so nice, it's perfect, ah, rah, I feel so good like this. But I'm sharing it for Allah's sake, but I'm like, mouse bite wire, and it, hmm. suddenly something inside of you says, ah, it's not so great after all. It takes the uh, satisfaction off of it a little bit, right? Yeah. The believer is going to say, good, you should not get too attached to it. Looks at the cake, it's so nice, ah, I want to eat it. You eat it and you bite your tongue. The believer is not going to say, <laughs> can't win. <laughs> Believer is not going to say that. Believer is not going to say, how I'm, I cannot even enjoy this. Believer is going to say, mm, Allah is making, to reminding me, making me to remind not to get too lost in that. So it is the unpleasantness of life. You will see, this is Allah reminding you. And that time, you're happy. You're not asking for it. But there's a break that is there. You understand? Car, or a job, or a person, or this or that, just to come back, for you to come back down a little bit. It's not for you to be depressed and say, I'm never going to have a car ever again. No, it's kind of stupid, right? But the whole point is not to get too, too attached to it. Before the mousey comes, then you're going to say, um, I'm going to do something. My ego loves it so much. 
before I bite my tongue eating this, I'm going to share it with someone. Later, it will be part of your nature. You share it not because you are disappointed with it, not because you might bite your tongue, but because it's so nice and you want to share it to give it to other people. Then that time when you're sharing to other people and you see them being happy, you're happy. And if you eat that, and then you bite your tongue too, you're not going to be mad. Believer is not going to say, I share to everyone and I still can't eat this. No, never. He doesn't say, Alhamdulillah, good. Allah wants, him, wants me to be reminded of him. Huh?